In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Christmas season is a season of gifts, and Christmas is a festival of the greatest gift ever given to the humanity by God. And that gift is our beloved Lord Jesus Christ, the son of Mary. And God gives this gift and where he himself comes as the human person in the person of Jesus Christ. And he came down and became human, not, uh, not because of our sin or the sin of Adam, but because he loved us so much. John says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And therefore, it is the greatest love of God that has made God to become human. And uh, you know, the incarnation or the God became human did not happen as a result of Adam's sin. That means after Adam's sin, this was planned by God. No. And uh, many uh, great, uh, great scholars and great uh, saints, they say, when God created the creation and he willed that he would one day become human. Okay. In other words, without incarnation, creation would have been uh, what called imperfect. So perfection of creation is also fulfilled in the incarnation. The God became human. And this great mystery that we are celebrating. And in, the, in a way, this, has, this celebration has, calls us that we may participate in the godliness of God. We will never become gods, but we can participate in the godliness of God. And that's the reason why we rejoice over on this day. The greatest given, the greatest festival of our Christianity is the, this, this, the, this Christmas where Jesus is born. And St. Francis of Assisi say, since God, is, uh, since, since God is as born as human, we have been saved. Just by his birth itself, we are not saved. And then that he died on the cross and he rose from the dead, that is only an added uh, beauty to the redemption. Knowing well this all this beautiful mystery that we are celebrating, let us humble ourselves by recalling, recalling to ourselves our shortcomings and failures, especially the failures that, that we have gone, uh, that we have uh, done against the love of neighbor. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love. Let's recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess, I Almighty God, God, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my heart, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary of our God, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Amen.
shine through in our deeds and in our lives. So Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of one who brings good news who heralds peace, brings happiness, proclaims salvation, and tells Zion, your God is King, listen, your watchmen raise their voices, they shout for joy together, for they see the Lord face to face as he returns to Zion. Break into shouts of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord is consoling his people, redeeming Jerusalem. The Lord bears his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A reading from the letter of Hebrews. At various times in the past and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his son, the son that he has appointed to inherit everything and through whom he made everything there is. He is the radiant light of God's glory and the perfect copy of his nature, sustaining the universe by his powerful command and now that he has destroyed the defilement of sin, he has gone to take his place in heaven at the right hand of divine majesty. So he is now as far above the angels as the title, which he has inherited is higher than their own name. God has never said to any angel, you are my son, today I have become your father, or I will be a father to him, and he a son to me. Again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To Has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, worship the Lord, for today a great light has shone down <coughs> on the earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A 
are reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 14. Caesar Augustus issued a decree for a census of the whole world to be taken. This census, the first, took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to be registered. So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth to Gal in Galilee and traveled up to Judea to the town of David called Bethlehem since he was David's house and line in order to be registered together with Mary his, his betrothed, who was with the child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child and she gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in the swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. In the countryside close by the, there, there were shepherds who lived in the fields and took it in turns to watch their flocks during the night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said, do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy, a joy to be shared by the whole people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, he is Christ the Lord. And here is a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with the, with the angels there, with the angel, there was a great throng of heavenly host praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to people who enjoy his favor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Can you arise for the creed? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, <coughs> the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Rejoicing in the birth of our Savior, who has brought light and life to the world, let us turn to him in faith and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, the light of all nations, may touch all people with his peace and salvation through the ministry of his church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. That Christ, the Prince of Peace, may guide and bless this nation and their highnesses the rulers of the Emirates, as they follow the path of justice and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That Christ, the Word made flesh, may comfort the lonely, console the discouraged, <coughs> strengthen caregivers, and bring hope to all those in need, especially those affected physically or financially by the, pan by the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That Christ, the humble child of Bethlehem may teach us this Christmas to offer him the gifts of our lives and welcome him in the poor and neglected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. <coughs> that Christ the Savior, who shared the trials of our earthly life, may grant the faithful departed the joys of his heavenly life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let's pray for our personal intentions in silence. Lord God, your only Son, embrace the weakness of our flesh to give us the power to become your children. Hear the prayers we bring before you. Give joy and peace to all people and fill our hearts with the light of your holiness. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May our offerings be worthy, we pray, O Lord, of the mysteries of the Nativity this day, that just as Christ was born a human and also shone forth as God, so these earthly gifts may confer on us what is divine. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the world made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind. So that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through to him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and parts of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for all and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memory of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with friends of Pope, Paul, our bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Paul, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced and alive and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. taught us to call God our Father and let's join with him in praying the Our Father. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who us against us. And it is not our temptation, but deliver us from our evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and, from, and safe from all distress and disappointments and despair and frustrations and darkness. And as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her and to our homes and to our hearts the peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away sin of the world. He is the one who is bound for us, who is Emmanuel, God with us. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I have no my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Rejoice, O daughter Zion. Lift up praise, daughter Jerusalem. Behold, your King will come, the Holy One and Savior of the world. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, as we honor with joyful devotion the nativity of your Son, that we may come to know with the fullness of faith the hidden depths of his mystery and to love them ever more and more through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the God of infinite goodness who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by the glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of thy virtues. Amen. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.